What up everybody, it's Senny and this is Gems of War for PS4 and today we are going to be showing the best gold farming team and also other ways to get gold passively I'll explain the team, I'll show the troops, all that you can get up to between 2500 and 3500 gold per battle and just tons of gold per hour so uh, first of all I want to show you the armor you should definitely get to if you're going to be gold farming um, it is the dragon armor it gives you plus 100 percent to gold you need to have this armor if you're going to be gold farming uh, it costs about 500 gems I think uh, but it's well worth it another option is the death knight armor but this costs real money uh, if you have 50 bucks to spare it's really good it gives plus 100 percent to gold souls and exp um, I've never spent any money on this game but if you have the extra money to spare this is probably the best thing to buy though I don't recommend it because it's $50 but hey most games are 50 to $60 so if you want to throw the developers some money here's a good way to do it and probably the best value for real money is Death Knight armor um, if you're a little cheaper you can get the pirate armor it's 250 gems but you might as well just save up for uh, the dragon armor uh, instead of buying this but if you're super impatient I guess you could go for the plus 75 percent gold for 250 gems so yeah this is pretty much required to do gold farming you need the dragon armor another little passive thing before we get to the team is uh, the mimic pet mimic mini mimic he will give you plus he can give you up to plus five percent gold from battles uh, I only got him um, I don't have him fully ascended yet but uh, once you get him fully ascended you can get up to plus five percent gold from battles I mean that's just extra gold in your pocket for every single battle you do every single battle you do so it's you know it's not really worth it to like throw tons of gems at it but you know if you get lucky and get a few of these in the uh, in your baskets um, it's just a extra good little way to get extra gold from every single battle so mini mimic you don't have to have them equipped or anything you just have to have them ascended and leveled up and everything and you'll get the bonus from every single battle another little passive way to get gold is just from your kingdoms you want to level up your kingdoms um, I mean this is pretty much just every time you level up the kingdom power you get more gold plus 100 gold per day 200 gold 400 gold so you should at least go up to level three here if you're just starting out you want to try to get every kingdom at level three and this just gives you more gold every time you get a tribute um, like up in the right hand corner I'm getting 764 gold an hour uh, so every time you take your tribute you'll get you know like 3,000 4,000 gold um, from all your tributes and it and you don't have to take it every single hour as far as gold goes uh, you can wait and just do it once a day if you want I mean it it does uh, help if you take it every hour because you get your other tributes like gems and keys and all that but if uh, you can't get to it your gold will still pile up and you can as long as you get it like once a day I think you'll be fine so on to the meat and potatoes of this video is the team um, let's see here, gold, the key team, so this is pretty much the meta gold farming team right now, and it's one of the best teams in the game, just period, um, gold's pretty meta right now, uh, but here it is, Cedric, Sparkle Sack, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, and Greed. Um, Cedric Sparkle Sack, pretty important. You really need to get him and have him fully traded to do any kind of gold farming. So the Dragon Armor and Cedric Sparkle Sack, the two things pretty much required to do any kind of good gold farming. Um, you can get him in the vault with vault keys. Um, you'll have a chance to get him every time you uh, complete out a vault key. 
Um, you can get those from events, um, and sometimes gnomes will pop up in like PvP and Explore, and you might you have a chance at a vault key there. But anytime you get a vault key and you complete out that vault key, you have a chance at getting Cedric Sparkle Sack, and he's really important for gold farming. So concentrate on getting him and uh, getting them fully traded because you need the money bags which is his third trait and he will gain 100 percent bonus gold from battle and that really helps the gold farming along and it's pretty much required just for gold farming this and the dragon armor or the death knight armor um, he pulls the last enemy to the front and charms a random enemy and summons one to three bomb bots so he's mostly used for his money bags um, but he can also summon, so if you get in a little bit of trouble, he'll summon some bomb bots to help you to, you know, have some more meat shields. Uh, give you a little time to uh, figure out the battle, you know. Um, and he can also rearrange the enemy team if they have some stealthy troops in the front line. You can rearrange them a little bit. You don't really want to use this attack too much, but it's real situational. So sometimes you will use it if in, like, tough battles. But yeah, he's pretty much required and fully traded required, and you can get him with fault keys. Next is Egg Thief. Um, really good troop, one of the best troops in the game. Um, want to have her fully traded too, mostly for stealthy, uh, so she can't, you know, be uh, targeted, and she won't get killed because she's really important to have. She destroys ten random gems boosted by gold. Gain 10 gold and summon dragon eggs. So she'll keep summoning a dragon egg to the first slot. If you lose anything, those things are pretty tough. They're good tanks. And she gets her mana up pretty quick. And she can keep summoning those, keep exploding. And giving your, your skeleton key its mana like super quick. It explodes like the whole freaking board. And uh, will get your, your key up real fast. And also put an egg in the front if you lose a troop. So she's really good, really good. You definitely need her and fully traded. And she's not that hard to get. <clears throat> Next is the Skeleton Key. Um, you can get this by winning 250 battles uh, with the Thief class. So you, you set your class to Thief, and then you go into PvP or Explore, and uh, you just complete out 250 battles. It doesn't take as long as it sounds. Um, you can also use a blue orb um, on the thief class, and you will, you can get the key that way if you're impatient and have a bunch of extra blue orbs or something. I think one major blue orb will get it for you, and two to three of the minor ones will get it for you, but I don't recommend that. I'd recommend just setting your class to thief and just doing explore or PvP or whatever, and you'll get it easily within you know the, a week if you don't even play that much you know a couple days but the key it does 29 damage to the first and last enemies boosted by my gold if an enemy dies gain an extra turn and you're gonna have a lot of gold in these battles because that's the point so it's gonna be doing a ton of, of damage to two enemies at once they're gonna be dying you're gonna be getting extra turns it's a awesome weapon and you can set your class to either Thief, which will give you extra gold, and you'll start with 50% mana, and you'll deal 7 damage to the last enemy on 4 or 5 matches. Or Titan, if you want to play it safe so you can keep the barriers up and all that. Uh, Titan's good for any team, so don't blame me if you want to use Titan. And the, the Thief, the Greedy, you don't need it that bad because of Greed and, and uh, Egg Thief and everything. You don't really need that Greedy gold there. Uh, the half the half uh, mana starts good. The sneak attacks decent. Uh, the key's awesome though; it does a ton of damage. Greed's here just to uh, give you a bunch of gold really quick. Um, he gains gold equal to his life. Gain 20 life. Gain an extra turn. So he gets an extra turn every time he casts. Um, fully traded because you want empowered. You want to start battle with full mana. Cast him right away. Get your gold up so your attack on your skeleton key starts really high. Um, you gotta gotta have that empowered with greed here. All right, let's go do some battles. Where you want to do them is in PvP. That's the quickest way to get gold. Um, 
I like to do three trophy uh, ranked because that's usually the most gold you can get from one battle. Uh, casual is okay if, you, if you're not confident in doing three trophy PvP ranked. You can go in casual and just pick one you know you can finish out. You won't get as much gold, but you'll get more gold than anywhere else. Um, and if you want to do ranked, you can also do two trophy. Um, and it's just a little bit less gold than doing three trophy. But if you want to get the most gold, you got to do three trophy. And these teams are pretty good. They win 90 to 95% of the time for me. Um, so I don't really, that's not the right team, where we got, I don't really worry about it, if I lose every, once out of every ten battles, it's not that big of a deal. If you run into something annoying that you don't really want to fight, you can just retreat, uh, you're just, if your main goal is farming gold, you know, just retreat if you see like a team you know you can't beat. Alright, so, first things first, you want to cast Greed get your gold up so that put us at 122 gold if you look up in the upper right hand corner where the gold is we have 200 possible and we just got to 122 with one cast of greed and he gains an extra turn when you cast him so pretty much free gold at the start of the battle um, next thing we're going to want to do is either get our brown mana for our key or try to get egg thief up so she can explode and get the mana for the key so I'm gonna grab this brown right here uh, I'll probably grab yeah this one so I can get the yellow as well I'll grab this brown right here so now we have the key up um, so we're gonna cast it oh there's an extra turn here might as well take it get some skull damage there on a cascade okay so there's another extra turn so I'm gonna take that doesn't hurt taking extra turns. Alright, so now we're going to cast Key. He's going to deal 31 damage to the first and last enemy, boosted by gold, which we already have over 100. If an enemy dies, we're going to gain an extra turn. Boom, they both died. We got an extra turn. Look at all that damage. Just one shot at them. Two at a time. Alright, we got our uh, Egg Thief up. So we're going to do that. It's going to destroy 10 random gems, boosted by my gold, gain 10 gold. So it's, watch as it explodes the whole board. Boom, gone. Got our key up again. Bam. It's that easy. 200 out of 200 gold. Mm, game likes to load forever to, to meme me. Man, this game. Lag. Alright, 2,000, almost 3,000 gold from that battle. We got three trophies. 2,826 gold. 48 PvP points. It's just all good. And that was a three trophy battle. It was just that easy. Let's do it one more time, and then I'm going to show another team that doesn't even use the key. Um... It's easier to get. It's, you know, for you guys who don't have the key team, I got another team for you that's almost as good. Like, I, I like it I like it better, pretty much. All right, so let's do this again. Uh, and by the way, the banner, I like to use plus two brown, plus one red, minus purple, the bear banner, Urskaya, um, because we want to get the key up as fast as possible. We also need red for egg thief. And uh, we don't need purple because greed starts with full mana, and we only need to really cast them once, so we don't need purple. So bear banner on this t uh, key team. All right, let's do another three trophy. And this team, it goes fast. If I'm not explaining it and going, you know, I'm over explaining this team, so that's why it's not going super fast. But it can go really fast as well. Alright, so we want to do Greed again, because the gold, we need to get the gold up so we, our key can do a lot of damage, because it's based on how much gold you have, so let's do Greed. I'm not even going to worry about these skulls, I want to take brown, red, or green, so I can get uh, my key up. Got the key up, let them hit me with the skulls, who cares. Okay, let's do the key now. Didn't exactly kill him out. I probably needed a little bit more gold, but 
that's not a big deal let's um get some more brown mm, here's some more uh, not didn't surge oh shit red come on don't kill me Agwe skull bait them there we go two down egg thief once again it's gonna blow up the whole damn board and it summons if you lose Cedric just gonna cast it again now we got our key up almost got it there it goes 200 out of 200 again let's see how much gold we get 3186 49 PvP points, 3 trophies, it's good for doing your trophies. Um, just doing, getting to rank 1 in PvP. If Whenever you do that little grind to get to your rank, to get to rank 1. And get all those, um, all those treasures you get for doing that. All the uh, resources and keys and stuff you get for going from 15 to 1. Uh, plus all this extra gold, three over 3,000 gold in this one. So you get between 2,500 to 3,500 gold every battle with this team. Uh, let's try to do over as fast as I can here just to show you how fast it is. Hopefully this isn't a, uh, a troll team. Let's just try to do it as quickly as possible. You can always just cast greed right off the bat. You don't even have to look at the board. Then we're looking for red, brown, or green. Go with red. Got red here again. Um, do the brown. Um, don't really have anything here. Extra turn. Oh, come on, of course. Whenever I, this happens every video, every time I'm trying to go quickly, I get a shitty board. Alright, got the egg thief. Now we got our key. We got 200 out of 200 gold, so we're going to kill two of their troops right now. Boom, both dead. Cast the key again, or the egg again. And just keep casting it till you get your key up again. Who cares what the board looks like? You're going to kill them, you're going to win. It doesn't matter. So pretty much you cast greed, you get your key up, <clears throat> you cast key, um, it'll kill two of their troops, you cast egg thief until you get your key up again, and then you cast key again and you kill them. And that's how quickly it can go. And that was a sh crappy board that was unlucky, but another 2,729 gold. Believe me, it goes fast. You can do it on rank three, as you saw, I just did three in a row there without any trouble at all. And, uh... Got three trophies, got 3,000 gold each battle. It goes really fast once you get in a groove. Um, the best gold farming team there is. That That's the best one. So I want to show another team. It's pretty close to, uh, to the key team, but it doesn't use the key. All right, I don't know why I went out of here. Let's go three trophy once again. Alright, here's my other team, and you can put this in a different order. Um, some people like to put Cedric in first slot, and then Greed in last slot. But I just don't like the way he is, his blue will block the Bronze Lock Pistol. So that's the only different thing we have here is the Bronze Lock Pistol. It deals 27 damage to an enemy, destroy 5 random gems boosted by gold collected. Um, you get this by just leveling up and leveling brown and blue. So when it, whenever you level up, just if you have a choice between brown and blue, pick brown or blue. And once you get like 40 of them, I think, something like that, it's not very much. You just automatically get the Bronze Lock Pistol. Um, yeah, that's the only difference with this team in the order. We got Greed, Bronze Lock Pistol, Cedric Sparkle Sack, and Egg Thief. And I'm using the Kraken Banner, plus two brown, plus blue and minus uh, purple once again because greed we only need to cast once and he's empowered 
Um, the brown, two brown for bronze lock, and blue also for bronze lock. So, let's do a battle with this team. And this team, the reason I like this team, it's just like even more, you don't even have to think about it, this this team. It's like automatic, pretty much. It's more automatic than the, the key team. Um, I don't know. I just like it. I don't know why. So, we got greed. We'll go ahead and do that, like always. And the reason I put Greed in first slot is because once he casts, you don't need him anymore. He can just be a meat shield. Um, so he'll probably die. We got Egg Thief up already, so he's not really blocking her, even though he uses green mana also. Um, I don't... A lot of people say to put uh, Cedric in first, but I think that, you know, that the blue he uses blocks uh, Bronze Lock. So, I don't know. This is just the way I like to play it, and it works for me. So, we've got Egg, Thie Egg Thief up, so we're going to cast her, of course. Now we got Bronze Lock up, so we're going to cast... Well, actually, I'm going to do Greed, because I want to get my gold all the way to 200, and I'll get an extra turn. Alright, now we have Bronze Lock, so we're just going to cast... Every time we have it, we're going to cast it. It's like a machine gun. It explodes a bunch of uh, gems. So we're just going to cast Bronze Lock from now on. Unless, you know, certain... Unless stuff starts dying. Or the other team has Stealthy. So that's, you don't even really have to think about it. You can, like, be doing something else and just be hitting your bond Bronze Lock pistol. It's simple. Don't even have to look at the board. You just cast Bronze Lock. It doesn't matter what's on the board, really. I mean, you could do do a little bit smarter of moves, but uh, it does, you know, it's pretty much brainless, super easy. Once I lose the troop, I like to cast Egg Thief, just uh, to be safe. Even though I could just kill the Alchemist right here, so that's not a good example. But anytime I lose um, greed, I like to cast Egg Thief, even if I have full mana, just to put that meat shield between um, the enemy and my hero. So it was three trophy once again. Easy win. 2,598 gold. So if you don't have the key, you can use Bronze Lock Pistol. And I feel like they're pretty neck and neck. I really like Bronze Lock Pistol because you just. It's so simple. So I'll do another one here, explain it one more time, then I'll try to do it quickly, just like with the key team. Like always, greed. Just cast greed first. Getting your gold up, that way you can explode more gems and do more damage, all that. Alright, now we're going to get our Bronze Lock Pistol up, brown mana. Now we're just going to cast it. And you get a lot of cascades and extra turns and stuff with this team. That's why it's awesome. So we'll agree to get our full amount of gold we can get possible and there are some teams that control this team but uh hopefully it's not this one they probably got the damn dragon eye hopefully we can kill them before they uh start transforming us so we get a lot of extra turns uh oh all right i might do a cedric here just to hopefully try to kill their hero Oh, didn't work, but I'm gonna target their hero because I don't want to get that dragon and dragon's eye. Just get rid of the hero there. I just said how brainless this team was, and I'm here. I am thinking right. Now we're just machine gunning every. We don't have to look at the board, you know, unless you lose a troop or something, or you see something crazy like that. You might as well do that. It's just simple. You just keep on shooting. And they got kind of a troll team over there with a lot of summons going on. So if you're really gold farming hard, you might want to skip uh, battles like this. Just because they've got a lot of summons, it's going to take extra time. Ah, oh, man. i got to kill that egg thief. This is just trolling me. I'm going to get rid of this egg thief. I'll put my shield back up. Oh, I can't kill her because she's freaking stealthy. Oh well, it's nice to have her in first, so we can uh, maybe get some skull damage on her. 
and the extra little damage from the from the pistol. She is annoying. All right, she's burning. Almost got her out of here. There she goes. So this isn't like a, a proof of how fast the team is, but it's proof of how consistent it is at least. Uh, when you go up against these teams that summon, 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 you just want to uh, leave the battle. Just retreat. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I guess I should have. Damn baby dragon. Don't care about the board, even if there's extra turns at this point. We're just winning. We're just shooting. Putting some caps in them. Bronze lock pistol. 3,331 gold. So both these teams you get between 2,500 and 3,500 gold. Just remember to have your dragon armor, have your mimic as leveled and ascended as possible, have all your kingdoms leveled up as much as you can for your tribute, take your tribute as much as you can, and run one of these two teams on PvP, um, you know, the, whatever uh, you can do as far as trophy wise. Tro one trophy, two trophy, three trophy, it doesn't matter. Um, PvP is your fastest way to get gold, it gives you the most per battle, so... Let's do one more, see how fast I can do this. Of course, it's going to troll me and give me gems I don't need and a team that summons every troop in the game, but let's just see if I can do it quickly here. Got up greed. Uh, I'm going with brown, get our pistol up. Start shooting. They got a stealthy in first slot, that sucks. So I'm going to cast greed. Pistol. Alright, I'm going to shift their team around because I that stealthy in first slot's killing me. So I'm going to use uh, Cedric. Now we'll try to kill Ubistet, hopefully before he casts anything. Of course I didn't get it off. Awesome. Okay, this is what Cedric's here for. Back up. We can cast that and get our two bomb bombs. Bomb bots. Let's get rid of Ubistet. Don't need him killing two people again. Look at the mass murderer he is. There we go. So it looked pretty dire there for a second, but um, looks like we're going to win anyway. Get my bomb bombs. I should have just killed her. Bomb bots. I don't know why I'm calling them bomb bombs. Bon bonds. Well, that wasn't very fast, but you see you get the drift. So, 3,482 gold, that's a lot of gold. Three trophies. I won every single battle, that was six battles with these two teams. On three trophy, I won every single one of them. And you can make it go faster by doing two trophy or one trophy, uh, but you'll get a little bit less gold. But, that's explaining the two gold farming teams. One with the key, which, um isn't too hard to get and one with the bronze lock pistol I think they're both good pretty much neck and neck um, you can switch up the order a little bit with the bronze lock pistol team um, but that's all I got for you guys just remember get your dragon armor for your plus 100 percent gold get your mi mini mimic pet up as far as you can ascended leveled up as far as you can get your kingdoms their power level up as much as you can take your tribute as much as you can and then go to PvP, either do casual if you're not too confident, um, or do and do ranked. You can do plus th uh, the three trophy teams easily. I just showed you. Uh, I was six and zero with the two gold farming teams, and even two trophy. Like if you want to do two trophy, make sure you win every single time. Two trophies pretty damn consistent. You can win 99% of the two trophies. Uh, I pretty much never lose on two trophy with these gold farming teams. So. That's what I recommend if you're if you're a little bit lower level than than I am. Just go ahead and do two trophy every single time. It'll still give you almost as much gold. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, hopefully that helps you out with your gold farming. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.